If you want to have maximum flexibility with your solar and storage system design, then you're going to want to take a look at the new Franklin AP box, because it helps you handle over-generating PV systems, oversized PV systems, to make sure that you have a fully functioning solar and storage solution. All right, so in today's video, we're taking a look at a new product called the Franklin AP Box. Uh, and this product is designed to work with the Franklin Whole Home battery backup system. Now, when we talk about designing a solar and storage system, the system has to be sized properly. It has to be sized properly in a couple of different areas. Uh, first, the solar system has to be sized properly to meet the annual production goal in terms of kilowatt hours of energy production. Secondly, the battery has to be sized properly to meet the demands of the emergency backup loads of the house uh, or to meet the self-consumption demand of the house. Meaning, if there's certain circuits that you wanna be able to run off of battery power only, the battery system has to be sized adequately to handle that. But thirdly, the system has to be sized properly so that the solar and the batteries are balanced and proportional. And when we talk about proportional in a solar and storage system, particularly an AC coupled system, ideally what we want is a one for one solar to battery sizing. Meaning that, let's say if your battery is rated for five kilowatts of continuous power, which is what the Franklin Home Power battery is, five kilowatts continuous power, then ideally you're gonna pair that with a solar array that has an AC output power or an inverter, a solar inverter with an AC output power of five kilowatts. And so that way basically you're able to take full advantage of the electricity coming off of the solar to recharge the battery. Now, in some cases you're not able to hit that ideal one for one solar to battery power rating. And so in certain cases, using the AP box to deflect or regulate some of that additional power can come in handy. Now, before I dig into specific system designs on the AP box system, I wanna explain a little bit about how AC coupled batteries work. Now, the Franklin Whole Home battery system, uh, as you all know, is one of my most popular, in fact, for my, for my projects, it is the most popular uh, whole home battery system that I use. Uh, and with an AC coupled battery, the integration between the solar system and the battery system happens at the AC side of the system. So after your solar panel power output, uh, which is natively DC, after that's been inverted, either by micro inverters on the roof or by a central inverter at ground level, but after that electricity has been inverted to AC, then that's when it ties in at the, the, the Franklin A gate and it interfaces with the battery. Now, when you're talking about an AC coupled battery system, the battery power rating comes into play because uh, again, that, that battery interface is an alternating current interface. It takes energy in, so the battery charges using AC power coming in. And then the battery also pushes out AC power to loads within the house when the battery is discharging and powering the house. And so when you size the solar and battery system, you have to make sure that uh, not only, not only do, do the loads that the battery is powering not going to exceed the battery's power rating, but the solar that's connected to the battery in an AC coupled fashion also cannot exceed what the battery's AC input power rating is. Otherwise the battery could charge too fast, it could overheat, uh, or it could shorten the battery life. So that's what AP Box is, helps to manage. So let's talk about case number one, which is an over-generating PV system. Now, let's say we're talking about a California home and the home needs 10 kilowatts of solar power to completely eliminate the electric bill or to, or to reach the annual kilowatt hour production goal. But let's say the homeowner doesn't want to buy two A power batteries to, to be able to take in that full 10 kilowatts. They only wanna use a single A power battery to manage a little bit of self-consumption during peak rate hours. Well, in this case, the system could be configured such that a full 10 kilowatts of solar can be installed on the roof but then the AP box is utilized to, to send only five kilowatts of that solar output to the battery system, 
where the other five kilowatts can then be sent straight to the grid. So the homeowner still gets the full benefit of the 10 kilowatts of solar for helping to offset the electric bill, but if they had to fail to an off-grid mode, let's say the utility service went down and now we're running on solar and battery backup only, the AP box would essentially shed half of the PV so that only five kilowatts of PV is going to be used to charge the battery. So it stays within the healthy power rating on the battery. Now, another example would be an oversized PV system. Now you're going to see this more in places like Texas and Florida, where the homes tend to be a lot larger and the air conditioning demand tends to be much greater. So whereas your, your standard Franklin A-gate is only able to in, input uh, or take in 15 kilowatts AC of solar connected to a single A-gate, but let's say this is a large home and needs actually 30 kilowatts of solar to completely offset the electric bill. Well, in similar fashion, you could install the full 30 kilowatts of solar on the roof, use a P-box to only send 15 kilowatts of solar AC output to the A-gate for use with the battery system and then send the other 15 kilowatts straight for grid tie-in only. Uh, so again, in this example, the homeowner still gets the full benefit of the, the full 30 kilowatts of solar, but only 15 kilowatts of it would be activated in an off-grid mode so as not to overload the battery system. So folks, this has been a brief introduction of the new Franklin AP box. Uh, again, helps you handle over-generating and oversized PV systems. Uh, we'll make sure that we get a link in the description down below if you want to take a look at the data sheet, or you can go directly to the Franklin, Franklin Whole Home website if you want to learn more about the product. Uh, this should be available through the same di distribution partners where you purchased your batteries and your A-gates and your other Franklin accessories. Uh, so you can continue to, to work in with those relationships. Well, I thank you all for spending some more time with Solar Surge today. Uh, of course, if you're getting good value from the videos that we have on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Uh, that way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your homepage and you can stay up to date with us. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote for the Franklin or any of the leading battery options, uh, as always, you know, feel free to reach out to us on the link below. You can set up a call with a solar expert or just use our free online calculator tool to see how much solar and storage will cost in your area. Well, that does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.